Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee, and I got a surprise day off. So I have already done some shopping. I've got some things to show you. Um, right now, I'm gonna go and fill up the new chicken water that I got. It's bigger for the chickens. Here's the new chicken water I got. It's the same kind as the other one I got, but this one holds five quarts. The other one held one quart. So they have the smaller one in there. I'll be hanging this one in there as well. And then they also have a bowl inside the shed that they can go to if they need it. So this morning, everyone else is either at work or running errands, going to the doctor. So I have a little time here by myself and I'm really excited about that. Someone like me, I don't know. So I just need quiet alone time sometimes and the Lord knows and he gave it to me today. So I'm very thankful for that. I've got some things I wanna do in the garden and in the chicken coop as well. So come along with me as I spend my morning out in the garden. Told you guys I missed my chance to harvest my first strawberry. But this is a really nice size one. It was all white still yesterday, so maybe by this evening, I don't know. But if not, this guy is even more red than he was first thing this morning. So I'm hoping to be able to try my first homegrown strawberry. This is the pot I showed you guys in the last video I had just planted up and everybody is growing so wonderfully. Look at it, it's so awesome, man. I can't believe this. Look at this guy over here. It's amazing. So I told my boyfriend yesterday what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> when I put these in here, I didn't realize. I thought that I had some climbing squash one of them is actually a bush variety, the one in the back here. But what I'd like to do, because this is a climber and this is a climber, I want to turn this this whole bucket around this way. And then I'm going to take, we have two pallets that are just the front here without the back part on it. I'm going to screw that to the edges of these pallets to make a little trellis for this to climb on. Now I'm not absolutely certain that this is squash. It could be, but when I was going through my seeds yesterday, I realized that I had planted some cantaloupe. So this could even be cantaloupe. If, if you guys recognize the leaves, I mean, they look like squash leaves to me but I don't think I've ever successfully grown cantaloupe, so I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking for. Um, but anyway, I wanna create a trellis for those guys right there. My bell peppers, look at that. It's not quite, I guess, as big as the ones in the stores yet, but I could go ahead and eat that if I wanted. And I've got a few others that are maybe, maybe the same size, let's see. So this one over here, it's a little longer, but about the same size, I think. And then this guy in this bed is just a bit smaller. But I have them everywhere. I've got little peppers all over the place. And it's so exciting. And my nasturtiums just kind of took off out of nowhere. I mean, it's, it's awesome. And this strawberry, I was worried um, it was not blooming. I thought maybe the basil was preventing it from blooming, but it's it's blooming now. I've got little strawberries forming on there. Um, lots of bugs eating my basil, and my my high ho, high ho time is is going downhill quickly. All those spots, I'm not sure what it's from, but I'm really sad about it. So here yesterday, I decided to take out some of the pups from my Regal Shields Alocasia and put it in the ground here. We have elephant ears all over the place and they do really well. This is the same type of plant, it's just slightly different. So I stuck that in there and I'm hoping that that's gonna grow nice and provide some shade for this pothos that I planted behind it that I'd really like to see. This is an old power pole. It doesn't have anything going to it anymore. I'd like to see this pothos just kind of climb this pole and create those big beautiful leaves there. I stuck some curly willow cuttings. I don't think they're gonna come back. It's been a year. Um, in the bucket here with my cucumber to try to encourage the vining. And then I created a, another new pot. I've got two, I don't, they're flowers, zinnias or cosmos, I'm not sure. And then it looks like some more squash here that were dying off. I went ahead and sucked them in a bigger pot. I used this little basket here 
and some garden cloth, what do you call that? Weed fabric. Um, lined up with that. Put some seed potatoes in there. We'll see if that does anything. I moved my borage into a bigger pot because it was going downhill and it has greened up and it's looking beautiful. Pulled some of my peppers out of different um, pots and up potted those over the weekend. My little neighbor friend, these are his seeds that, oh, he's gonna be so excited to see that. His seeds that he planted, his cucumbers here. He's, he's very excited, his little tomatoes. He's got spinach going. And these are his peppers. That didn't take long at all, about a week. So he's gonna be really excited to see those when he gets home later. Look at my dryer drum bed looking full and lovely as well. This is so exciting. So I believe all the squash in here are bush varieties. Nope, this one back here is a vine, so that could be squash or cantaloupe, I don't know. Um, and then my zinnias up here, and I've even got dill hiding back here. I don't know how well it'll do, but it's back there. The spinach I planted in here on both sides, something kept eating away at it, so. I'm not expecting anything out of there, but this looks so lush and healthy. It's so exciting. I noticed the other day that I have some caterpillar eggs on my milkweed plant. If I can find one, I'll show you if you'll be able to see it. But that little tiny spot right there is a, should be a monarch caterpillar egg, but I don't know. Um, these things <laughs> require a ton of water. And even though it rained this morning, it's dry. It's leaves are looking rough. They love water. So my neighbors, my in-laws have this because they gifted one to me. They have one also over there. And they had little baby monarchs on theirs and then the wasp came and ate them. So very sad about that, but hopefully we'll get some more. And then my, my peppermint that looked pitiful is now looking nice and growing. Very exciting. And then for my birthday, I turned 41 last Sunday. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. My boyfriend got me a couple of plants. He got me this really beautiful purslane. And actually he didn't say it was for my birthday. He kind of just showed up with it a couple of days after my birthday. So this is a really beautiful purslane. The plant is edible. He didn't realize that, but I'm so excited. It's gorgeous. And then he also got me a really pretty orchid plant, which is sitting up front on the, the little patio table under the big umbrella canopy. Um, and it's doing wonderful. I'll have to show you guys that in a little bit. Um, let's see. Anything else I need to tell you about here in the garden? Oh, yes. I forgot. Another thing my boyfriend did for me, he went and got this... So it's 250 gallon, I believe it's called an IBC tote or something like that, food grade, yeah, IBC. Um, he is going to create right here, he's got this pallet over here. We talked about this year, uh, a couple years ago, but he's going to run a, a gutter system on the back here for me and create a rainwater catchment system. And I'm really excited about that. I say I'm really excited about a lot of things. Maybe that's annoying. Sorry if it is, but there's a lot to be excited about right now. Um, so we were reading an article about what you should and shouldn't do with collected rainwater because I was curious if it's drinkable. Like if something happened, would we be able to drink the rainwater we collect? And the article said that you could use the rainwater not to drink with. You can water your garden, but not to use it to water any plants that you'll be eating from. What? Somebody help me understand. Maybe I'm just not understanding exactly what they're trying to say. But to me, it seems like they're saying that rainwater is bad for the plants that you're going to be eating, AKA your vegetable garden. What? I think I just figured it out. So they may be thinking that this water is going to be sitting there and growing bacteria for a while. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's going to be used to water my plants. Let's see if you'll be able to see this. So I was collecting old pots from outside, emptying the old soil out so I can reuse the pots. And I found a lizard egg in one of the pots. 
Now I've hatched these out before when I was a child, but I thought, you know what? It'll be a cool experiment to see if I can do this still. And I stuck it in here in my terrarium, just like they do in the pots, kind of just below the surface and right along the edge. And um, we'll see if this little lizard will hatch out in this terrarium. And um, if he does, I may end up turning this into a living terrarium. I added some isopods. Maybe I'll bring in some extra food and nutrition. So there's already a frog in here. So I thought, why not a lizard, you know? <sighs> Look how big the babies are getting. So I hung up the new water there. Just high enough off the ground, the little ones can get it. Actually, they're bigger than I keep thinking they are. I could probably raise that because they still find a way to kick the um, wood chips in there. Yeah, I could raise it a little bit. They're all getting so big. It's so exciting. We won't have any egg production until at least August, though. Some of them are getting a little friendlier. Bright Eyes has always been pretty friendly. This is Bright Eyes. Um, this one here is now letting us pet her. Um, I think this one may be a rooster, but I don't know. And there's a good possibility that the white one and the red one back there could also be roosters. But we'll still have a while to be able to tell. I mean, I'm sure there's ways that I could figure it out, but I'm not too worried about it. Nobody's crowed yet. <laughs> yep, I came in and turned all this yesterday so they could dig through it. And, um, oh, I put the other, the other waters and the bowl is there. I put a little perch up here. They don't seem to want to use it. Their food is over there. Finally turned off the heat lamp. I don't think they need it anymore. That board that the other waters were sitting on was down here and they were pooping on it so much. It was just getting gross. I took that out. And I put these up here instead, so they've been roosting up here at night. Right, babies? I should have got another bag of pine shavings. I just put a bag out here because it rained and then turned all this, so it's buried under here. There's like fresh hiding under all this nasty. But I should have got another bag. Anyway, let's go take a look at what I got from tractor supply today. Real quick before that, this is the really pretty orchid that he brought me home. I told him I said I don't know how to care for it, so he's helping me care for it. So at tractor supply, I got that water, and I also got a big bale of straw, not hay, straw. I tried to do some research to make sure that this doesn't come from hay that was sprayed with anything, but I couldn't find anything on it. So I'm just going to hope for the best and I'm not going to put this anywhere near plants that I'm super excited about until I know for sure. So this is 18 cubic feet compressed for the same price that they had 2 cubic feet of the other stuff. So of course I went, went with that. And then I stopped by Gore's of course and I got 2 more bags of this Fertilum potting soil. I'm not going to show you what I'm most excited about yet. <laughs> um, I picked up another cilantro plant, which none of their cilantro was looking great. So I'm wondering if it's just out of season for it, but it's got new growth and I want cilantro. So I got one of those and then I picked up a pack of, let's see if I can remember what these are and why I got them. No, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ancho Plabano peppers. So uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge used to talk about roasting Plabano, pl pl Plabano peppers and how tasty they were. So when I saw these, I was like, yep, got to get those. <laughs> and then last but not least, you guys, I'm so excited. I got an olive tree. Now, Gores always has olive trees, but they're very mature olive trees, and they're very expensive. They had a little section here with these little tiny olive trees, and they were only $10. And it looks like, I don't know anything about olive trees, but this shows black olives, which are my favorite. Um, it 
look they have it in a container it says it fruits in summer and fall after the third year so i'm gonna count this as first year even though i don't know for sure and we'll say that we've got two more years to go and then it gives you a recipe for making olives tells you how often to water obviously stuff like that but i am so very excited to be the owner of an olive tree it's only mid-may as you guys know and it's already so hot i don't know if it's like this everywhere i'm assuming it is and you know the lower states anyway here in florida it's hot it's humid <laughs> if i bend down and stand back up i get lightheaded and feel like i'm gonna pass out i know i need to be hydrating out here i should go get some water i should also eat something um there's a lot i want to get done while i'm the only one here it's hard when it's like this so let me go in get some water grab something to at least put in my belly and um, we'll get to planting some of those peppers and figure out what we're gonna do with the cilantro I just tasted it it is cilantro I don't know how I ended up with so many parsley plants I only planted one parsley as far as I can remember the rest were supposed to be cilantro it didn't work out that way I'm assuming the packages got messed up but yeah, I'm going to go get some water. I'll see you guys in a little bit. On the way into the house, I'm passing the potatoes. So I figured I would show you this. So they were looking lovely until this weekend. And then the, I guess they're called potato beetles. Or I don't know if there's uh, worms in here. Yeah, there's little caterpillars right there. Feasting on my greenery. But they, they grew really nice and tall because, you know, they're trying to search for light. This is kind of a shaded area. And I've been hilling the best that I could, but I probably slacked off a little bit. Um, so some of this hay, I'm going to put on here. Use this kind of as a test area to see if it kills them off or not. But hopefully, man, Hopefully I've got some potatoes forming under there and I get to dig them out. It's like a treasure hunt. I've never done it before, but I've seen it and it looks real cool. All right, I got some water, but not food, at least not yet. I ate a couple olives. Um, I wanted to show you pick these seeds up when I was at Tractor Supply as well. I got, they were on sale. Um, I got some Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach because when I was looking at the varieties, I realized that the spinach that I was able to germinate is like the sun angel with the little tiny leaves and I, I really wanted something with the bigger leaves that you can like saute down and stuff I'm not saying that you can't use the little leaves they just they're they're little so I, I got some of this I'm gonna try to sprout I got some tomatillos because I believe you use these if you're making like salsa verde and I've grown uh, ground cherries before unfortunately I haven't found any seeds for them in my local stores um, these grow very similar but are much bigger and they're not sweet like the ground cherries but if I ever want to make salsa I guess I gotta have those and then I saw these guys I thought they'd be cute Jack the little pumpkins so they're just like the little ones and they can be eaten when fresh or used for decorations so I thought I would uh, try growing some of these little guys Grab this straw and take it over near the potato bed. We'll get this put out on them. I gotta grab some scissors as well and uh, start testing the potatoes to see if this is gonna have any ill effects. And if not, then it'll be used in other places in the garden. Scissors. Oh, maybe I should just go get my cutters. <laughs> there. Oh, that doesn't that look lovely? So I was walking the straw back to my shed, and I thought, you know what? Maybe I should put some here. This is my sunflowers. And I do have a test tomato and squash there as well. The area is hard to keep watered, so I think it'll help a lot. Now look at it. Nobody can say they didn't realize this was part of my garden anymore. <laughs> this poor little squash plant. 
up here. Got stepped on a few times when they were putting the new power line in for the in-law neighbors. But uh, it doesn't look like it even cared. But yeah, that looks a lot nicer. Isn't it crazy how the day goes by so much faster when you're off work compared to when you're at work? It's already one o'clock. Normally I'd be going home in an hour, so I'd start my cleanup now. But if I were at work right now, it'd be 9.30, 10 o'clock still. So here's one of the pallet pieces I was telling you about, but it's just the front piece. It doesn't have the boards and stuff on the back, so I can easily just screw this to the bottom outside of the pallets I have out there and turn this into a trellis. Um, I even have some extra chicken wire I could lay on top of it, staple down to it, you know, give them extra to cl climb and hang on to if I needed to, but I don't know that I will. So I'm going to take this over there and then find the other one. I'm taking another break. It's the middle of the day. It's hot. It's too hot to be doing anything. Everybody will be home soon, I'm sure, but I can't. I just can't push myself through that kind of heat. Good morning guys it's Saturday it's an exciting day I'm taking my neighbor sister-in-law to my favorite nursery for the first time today I'm not sure but ever since I put this straw down on my potatoes they're looking pretty rough so unless it's time to harvest I'm thinking that this straw was sprayed I know they're hard on nightshades when it's been sprayed and these just don't look good anymore so I won't be putting this straw on any other parts of my garden that I'm excited about because I just don't want this to happen so we just got back from our girls trip we visited two of my favorite nurseries and we spent a ton of money but we got a lot of awesome stuff Like I said, we got a ton of plants and I'm so excited. I got a lot of pollinator attractors, a lot of ornamentals, some more herbs and vegetables, some fruit bushes, some roses, and we got a little bit of everything. And I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. So some of these did not have names, or if they did, I haven't noticed yet. But this one is just one for the pollinators. Very beautiful clusters of these golden yellow flowers. It's very beautiful. There's just so much here. Um, so this is a ornamental potato vine. She said it doesn't produce any tubers, but it does vine out. So I thought it would look really pretty spilling out of one of my big pots. 
This is purple honeysuckle. So the leaves kind of have a purpley look to them. Um, it's a viner, obviously, and they just smell and taste really good. All right, so I got some more rosemary. The other type of rosemary I have is an upright variety. This is like a creeper, um, a crawler. So it vines out, unlike the other one that just stands straight up and down. I thought that was pretty cool. I got a variegated hibiscus plant. Really pretty leaves there. I got some more peppers because apparently I have an obsession with peppers this year. And these are extreme habanero orange peppers. And that flower does not belong to that plant. No, it doesn't. Okay. These beautiful purple flowers belong to this plant over here. And I don't remember what it was called, but another pollinator attractant. Here we have some sweet marjoram, majorum. Um, Chelsea said she uses it for her pizzas, so I figured I'd get some. I got some English thyme because my hi-ho thyme is slowly dying, so I wanted to replace it and I didn't have any hi-ho, so I just got some English thyme. Got some chocolate mint here. It literally smells like chocolate mint, mint chocolate. And then some mo mojito mint, which is really sweet and really good. I really like this. Got some society garlic. So this is edible. And it also puts off really pretty purple flowers. Here is another milkweed plant. The one that I have is being attacked by aphids. And all the caterpillar eggs I had are gone. So we just wanted to invite more butterflies into the garden. So we both got some more of these. Then I got some crimson sweet watermelon starts. I did not mean to steal their sign, but they saw it and didn't take it back. So I also got a detil, detil, detil hot pepper here. They had Tulsi holy basil. So I got some of that. I've got, don't remember what these are called. I just had it in my mind, but they were cheap. So I got three colors. I got the purple, I got the white, and I got red. Oh, and I got a hot pink. Not hot pink, I'm sorry, light pink. And then these guys I got in several different colors as well. I already have one of these plants over, planted over by the, the chicken yard, but they had them in all these different colors. So. I wanted to add some more color to the garden. Then I got this guy here. It's off these very interesting looking blooms. This is called Cat Whiskers. Got a, they call this mimosa and maybe it is a form of mimosa. We have a mimosa tree here that has really sweet smelling flowers. I've always called this the sensitive plant and I think it's so cool. Jenny, if you're watching, I know you had one. I don't know if you still have it, but when you touch it, well, when you touch it, there you go. It closes its leaves up. Isn't that so cool? That's awesome. What else? So here's one I don't know the name of, but it's very like whimsical and very pretty. And I saw the bees all over it while we were there. So I thought that'll be a great one for the cottage garden look and for the pollinators. It's in a giant pot. And then we both got one of these. We got a lot of the same plants. This is a, what do they call it? Yellow Lady Banks. Climbing rose, very pretty. Doesn't look exactly like a rose, but it's a very pretty flower. So this is on its own trellis, but it, hopefully I can create an arch trellis and have this thing climbing all over it. That's, that's the hope. Last but not least, I got two types of blueberry. Um, so where's my tag for this one? This one is called I can't even pre pretend to pronounce that. 
and then this one is called this and these berries on these two plants because we tried some berries from each of them these two different plants had really sweet berries the other types of plants blueberry plants they had there had bitter berries so we each got two of these and then we're going to go back in a week or so and get a third variety because there was a there was a type that had a bitter berry on it but they created ginormous fruits and we're thinking maybe if we had those to help pollinate I don't know I don't know we don't know anything about this we're learning as we go but I think that's everything I got as far as plants go I also picked up a bunch of pots there's a really big one and some medium-sized ones and some smaller ones I got the smaller ones so we could transplant little neighbors um, cucumbers out and then the big ones to create you know lovely arrangements with my plants hopefully and then I also got two more big bags of the fertilome soil to add to the other two I have so now I have four big bags of soil and then when I got home I did this added these little trellises things like I said I was going to the other day got those set up but then I noticed this and this makes me so sad like what what happened and I'm getting powdery mildew I didn't see this this morning like when when did this happen what happened here? I'm assuming a bug or something got in here. I just hope it doesn't start spreading and killing off my gorgeous plant. That makes me so sad. So just look at this place. Just look at it. Look at all of these plants. I feel like I own a nursery right now. They're absolutely everywhere. And it makes me so happy. <laughs> I told her, like I said, we spent we spent a little bit of money today. If it all works out, if everything produces and grows and lives, it'll be worth it. If it doesn't, I'm going to be living with this regret for a very, very long time. I don't normally spend like this, but I'm trying to create something beautiful. And this was like a one-time thing for us to go out and splurge. <sighs> So fingers crossed, prayers, all of that, you guys, that this works out. All right, you guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, this video has, well, it started Monday and it's Saturday now. And I've got a lot of work to do and this video is already so long. So I've got to edit and get this up for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing an update on my garden and seeing all the beautiful plants that we got today. I'm really excited about all of this. Thanks for watching you guys and for hanging out and I will see you in the next one.